Hi, this is Info Puppet, and I'm going to show you the easiest way to change color on a t-shirt or a car in Photoshop Elements. Alright, so we're going to get right into this, and the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and open up Photoshop Elements. And I really think you're going to like this. This is so fast and so quick and so easy. I think this is awesome. Let's go ahead and open up our first image, and there you go. And uh, we'll move it over here. So let me organize. Now we're going to go up to Enhance and Adjust Color and replace color so that's the key here it's replace color this is the replace color window and the thing that happens automatically as soon as I take my cursor off the window is I have a eyedropper and I can left click and select the color of the t-shirt and I just told Photoshop that that's the color I'm gonna want to change only this color will be affected so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick another color and like green and you see the t-shirt just turned green Okay, and let's click on OK, and now I can work the view slider, and you'll see some other variations, how easy it is, and how clean the t-shirt is now changing color, with just simply clicking on the t-shirt and telling Photoshop Elements, this is the color that I want to be affected, and nothing else. Now you can also change the lightness slider, or the saturation slider, and get even more colors and variations of the view slider by working with all your different sliders. All right, so let's work on our next image because the thing is, is that was with an isolated white background. I clicked on OK, but here's real life image with backgrounds and things like that. And we're gonna get into troubleshooting. So let's go to enhance and adjust color. And again, to replace color. Here's the replace color window. Now I have to show uh, Photoshop elements where I wanna change and that's right there on the bathing suit. And there's the color, so I'll click on it and select my new color, which is pink. Okay. Now, look at this though. What's going on? There's purple in her hair, and there's purple on, on her shirt, and it all bled over. Why do I listen to that puppet? That puppet is nuts. Why, why? I've got to stop listening to the puppet. Well, let me show you how you can fix that, okay? So here's how you fix that bleed over problem. So I just went back to open, so I'm back to my regular image, my original image. Now I'm just going to right click and select Duplicate Layer and then click on OK. So now I have two images of the exact same thing. Now make sure the top layer is selected. We want to work on the top layer right now. That's very important. So now we're going to go back to Enhance and Adjust Color and Replace Color. And again, I'm going to select the area that I want the color replaced. Click on that color and let's see what it's going to look like in yellow. Now that's I'm going to go back to pink, and that's fine, so I'm going to click on OK. So here's the, and I'm just going to slide this thing around, and well, yeah, that looks great, I love it. But I'm going to leave it right there and click on OK. So here's the magic. Just go and select the eraser tool, and it's um, right over, um, right over, right over there. There's the eraser tool. And now I'm just erasing the top image and I'm and it's erasing it and going through to the second image which has no color treatment on it. So uh, it's a very easy way and I don't have to stay in the lines or anything to erase any bleed overs and do a really nice job of changing a specific part of my image to change the color of a specific part of the image. I'm telling you it's the easiest way in Photoshop Elements to change color. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks again for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Thank you again from Info Puppet.